Let's see, Corey, should we should we go ahead and have our little powwow about what we've been up to? Sure. Um, do you want to start or should I? Uh, by all means, Corey, go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, so what have I been playing? Um, so on stream, I have actually been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying uh, Spirit Fairer right now, um, which is the most precious game uh, I have played in a while. Like, there's just so much about the art direction and the story and everything that's just so lovable. It literally feels like they sort of mashed, uh, how do I say this? They sort of mashed like Steven Universe and like a Studio Ghibli film and put them together. Like, it's 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 a really fun, really amazing game. Um, secondly, uh, I am surprised that Every single one of you in this chat that has PlayStation Plus that hasn't even touched Man Eater yet. I have because, downloaded it. Because Man Eater, let me tell you, Jose, Man Eater. Oh, I'm I, specific, you already told me about this. Let, no, no, no. This is an update, <laughs> I don't have a my PS5. Friend. I'm immune from this criticism. This is true. Right? Same. Let me, let me do forgetting. that now, actually. Shush. Thank you for reminding me. Shush for a second. Everyone shush. Because I it I play that game, and it is the only game where you're literally a shark, and it's an RPG. I platinumed, Did you meet a I platinumed that shit yesterday. Sharpie. Didn't I you like just download it the other day? Three days ago, Jose. I platinumed that shit. Damn, I didn't know. You, I didn't know you felt so strongly about. About sharks about and eating sharks. people. Apparently, apparently that game spoke to me, but I loved every second of it because it's just so much fun. I'm not one for you like, know, I, have not a, one. I have it downloaded. I want to play it, but I'm in the middle of Mafia and I'm just like, I, I can't justify playing more than one game on, on that console at a time. My mm-hmm. only, my only gripe, my only gripe about the game is that there weren't more fish species. I feel like there should have been a lot. Like, there are a lot of fish species in the game, but, like, there could have been more. Seven, like, 7.5, not well, enough I, fish. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, well, there are plenty of fish in the sea, Corey. There, okay, ha, 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 ha. Okay, jokes aside. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're interrupting my rant. <laughs> um... No, but like there weren't. I was. I'm like looking at Sarah's shirt right now, and I'm like, there weren't any crustaceans in the game. What? I, then I yeah, can't download it, Corey. What the hell? There's, there's no crustaceans. There's no me. I'm sorry. It's not crustacean Whoa. eater. It's man eater. Are you it's true? Are you at least having a whale of a time? There are whales in it. There are whales in it. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, it is it is a really, really fun game that you literally just like you start out as a pup of a shark and you, you start just, up as a baby shark? As a baby shark, and then <gasps> you have to awesome. you have to gain your levels oh in order God. to level up your form. And I think it goes it goes like level goes, up your form. <laughs> yeah, no, because you can get different because so you're not just a shark, you're like a, a like a biogenetically enhanced shark or something. Um, by, (laughs) by nature standards, because there's so much, because there's the way that they rationalize it is there's so much pollution in, uh, the waters and like the ocean and shit that, uh, this shark is just genetically enhanced from all the garbage that's laying around. Um, and can you, can you name your shark? (laughs) My, can I, like I gave, did I gave? No, you can't. Oh, oh, no, you can't name your shark. Uh, I wanted in, a zero out of You are your shark. You are I wanted your shark. In, you are I wanted your shark. Yeah. I wanted to name yeah. mine Mark Cuban. Um, but so you start off as, as a pup, and then you go to a teen, adult, elder. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mason. <laughs> I saw a teen man shaking his head, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to dignify it with a comment. <laughs> um, and then you, you pretty much, at one point, you become a mega shark. Um, which by that point you're freaking just massive. And there's all these different types of like tails, fins, uh, bodies and heads and teeth that you can collect by doing missions, um, to give you different abilities and different powers as the shark. So nice. And I will say this much. One last thing about the game is that, uh, it is hilarious 
hearing people screaming at the top of their lungs as an enormous shark jettisons out of the water onto the beach and just starts munching on them. And you hear one of them cry, I should have never come to the beach. And I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't have. (laughs) Go, bitch. (laughs) You are a cruel person, Corey. Uh, You know, when they said eat the rich, I'm pretty sure this is what they meant. (laughs) <laughs> well, you know what, Corey? You're you're good at uh, eating people mm-hmm. on the beach. You're also good at getting uh, my little That's hope characters Shinkan. killed. Jesus your Christ, what, Sarah. Your what characters killed? Uh, ignoring what Sarah said. Uh, oh. Shit, what did I say? You're, you're I very... Would... You're good at killing innocents uh, in, in your little shark game. You're also good at killing my little hope characters. First Aren't of all, you? that was a that was a group effort, my friend. So you're just as guilty as I am. For uh, for those that don't know, uh, me and Corey had been streaming uh, Little Hope. It's the same developers that made uh, Man of Dawn, same developers that made Until Dawn. Um, and I just had a hell of a time streaming it because you know horror games or horror movies, horror games are just completely straight up my alley. And uh, playing it with Corey was especially a a blast. Just making p- bad puns together, left and right. Trying to... We actually solved... I, I don't want to say the puzzle. Like we, we figured the plot out pretty damn early on and like some of the parallels they were doing. I and, think we were pretty... But, I mean, I think we were in the right direction. But I think that we were... By the end of it, we were far off. Yeah. For, we, for those we that... Were, totally in like left field like <laughs> like i feel like until until dawn was that same thing where you could easily guess going in like what the pot's gonna be and then like the last hour happens and you're like oh i didn't think they were gonna uh, go down that direction with, without spoiling <laughs> at, there's a certain point at least like halfway through until dawn where you know exactly what's going on um this pulls See, a similar I- curveball as man of madon which me and Corey were not particularly fans of i never I played like, it i guess the twist of man of madon within like minutes of starting that game i just talked over sarah sorry <laughs> no 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 i know it's fine i was just gonna say i heard it wasn't i really love until dawn like i love until dawn i had gone for hours yeah. about that game but when i heard that man of madon wasn't that good i just never touched it because again, it's I feel not... like when, when you when you make something as kick ass as like until until dawn, it's kind of hard to beat that. Yeah. Well, for what it's worth, and I, I was just like I don't know. Like I liked I liked the concept because I guess the concept is like it's this dude like pulling out books and stuff, and is like, oh, let me tell the, you this. The anthological tale. aspect of it is brilliant. The, yeah, yeah, the like I like that, so good. And, it's, and it's what's his name? Uh oh, what's that actor's Fuck. name? He's in like everything. I forget his name. But he's but he's like creepy and like he's in like everything. Is it it's the like same whatever. as the? Uh, is it the same as the therapist? As the in, uh, no, it's in... not. Oh, okay, no, okay. no, no, it's not Peter Stormare. No, yeah, okay. uh, I wish it was Peter Stormare. Peter Stormare. <laughs> uh, b- like I like how the games are set up, and I feel like it is leading into them connecting everything, which I'm down for. It's just as soon as I heard it wasn't as good as until until dawn with the storytelling chops with that team, I just never touched it. For yeah. what? Was, for like, what oh, it's worth. For what it's worth, uh, I think Corey shares the same sentiment. Um, Little Hope is infinitely better than Madame Madon. It, so, it's, it's not. I'm sorry, so go the, ahead, Corey. Yeah, so the gameplay, I, I will say this the gameplay and the story and everything for Little Hope is, I, in my opinion, it's faster and it's, it's, a, it, you know, vastly more interesting than Madame Madon. I feel like Madame Madon is like really slow to like pick up the pace and, and, and things like that. The, uh, one thing I will say in comparison is that Man of Madon definitely has a lot more like physical, uh, what's the word I used? Hazards has a lot more physical hazards of, of your character possibly getting hurt or, or dying um, because you're on an old tanker. Whereas little hope, there aren't very many hazards. Like there's a few, but there's not as many. Is it more yeah. reliance There's on a choices couple of... and having like effects later? Yes, it's a, it's a yes. lot more to do with like how your choices affect you way okay. later in the game. Because that's what I was really into with until un, until dawn yeah. was like I went into it completely blind. I didn't look up anything. I just got really lucky and was able to save everybody, but like one one person, which still haunts me to this to this mm-hmm. to this day. Well, that's why um, without go the first time without going into the details, um, it, it's. Uh, I don't think it's a it's a spoiler to say that this revolves around the concept of like ghosts okay. and whatnot. 
So it's like th- this whole story angle and like the fact that there's a bit more of a mystery compared to Man of Madon, like definitely had me more invested. And like, and uh, apparently this is the same for Man of Madon. Um, so, so me and Corey, we weren't just playing this like in a stream together. We we were playing together. You can play this entirely co-op okay. with each with each person taking control of like a completely different group of characters. So like you can get segmented from one another. So I'm talking Corey just like, oh yeah, what section are you in that I t- I have I can't see you. I don't know oh, what's going so, like, on. So we're just like reading notes and sharing what the other person's doing. Yeah. Yeah, you, you Yeah, so we're like piecing together the story from like notes and environmental details and whatnot. And that was that really added to the experience for yeah, me. Yeah, I feel like, like they I, really nailed the co-op in Little Hope. Um and I feel like they were like kind of refining that in Man of Madon and didn't quite get everything together in that one. But I feel like li- in Little Hope they've really put it all together in this sort of like experience where you're playing different aspects of what's going on there was a lot in man of madon that was really confusing like at one point when i was playing the first time we had somebody die and we didn't even know they were dead until the end of the game we were oh that's oh wow oh that's yeah that is weird yeah it was just Mm -hmm. really confusing but little hope is like a slow burn where you know what's going on from basically the very beginning and like the plot is driving you forward and it just starts ramping up and ramping up and it really draws you in and you're never confused or not understanding what's going on at least in my experience right i have a i have a comment that i guess that leads into a question because i and also i can explain something for sarah so like uh, everyone's talked about like you know the the issue that like oh the co-op's really fun but the game man of madame was kind of weirdly put together um to elaborate on that I played the game single player and I learned later how the way that these the the dark anthology works is they are designed for co-op it seems within mind like okay so it's not so, well cuz like you kind of argue sorry you you can kind of argue that until dawn was was made for that yes that but kind not of in the same way co-op where you just hand the controller over well that's the thing that's the whole thing is that okay. man of madon and I'm assuming by association little hope but i haven't played it yet um not just pass the controller around they actually it's the opposite of that they you are you know how like in until dawn you'd go to a character and you'd say something and then they would react according to your reactions yes in this anthology series that's not the case anymore you pick an answer and the other character you're talking to is controlled by your co-op partner and they pick an answer base and you go back and forth mm-hmm. on your okay. own consoles. So you're ba- you're literally oh, you're literally having a conversation. With or- yes, and you're yeah. literally working for okay. against each other. It's just you'll have and not like literally like I say something, I choose something and then you respond to that something. It's like well the for game what? will set up a conversation, you pick option A. The sentence happens, then the other player picks an option. Sentence happens. Another for what it's option. worth, I I don't. For what's worth, I don't recall there being like maybe more than one instance where me and Corey's characters were interacting with each other and like we were both doing dialogue options. It was more so because you're not even consistently control like the same character. Like I can be trolling character A for one section, but then he goes over to Corey and then I get like character C oh, or something yeah. like that. I thought so you always had certain characters essentially. No. So in Little Hope, and I that's actually another thing is that in Little Hope, when you're playing as co-op, it's constantly shuffling the characters between the two players. So uh, both players get a chance to mold these characters' reactions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I will say one one little, I guess, presentation uh, thing that that's pro- probably not great is uh, when when your co-op partner is picking an answer. You know, it has a little <laughs> countdown timer or ring, so like so they can like think about the options they can read. It's like, oh, what do I really want to do? But when you're on the receiving end of it. You're, the other character's just staring in a space like <laughs> and you're like uh, I just asked you a simple question they're just standing there it's like so funny okay so funny. <laughs> sorry I just have one more question like I said I was a big fan of like until until dawn and I'm just gonna spoil the twist of until has everyone here played until no 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 dawn? I think everyone okay. should play that don't do, just, that. don't do that spoiler free does it have a twist the same way as until until dawn does because you guys might have said that you could see I, it I, of dawn does, I did but not, not see. very good I I I did I, not see Until Dawn's twist coming, and that's what makes the game so memorable to me because I flipped out. Like I was like, I'll tell the, you the this plot, much. I'll tell you this much, the, Sarah. The plot twist of Until Dawn was good. Uh, uh, 
I I'm very annoyed they did they pulled the same kind of twist and little hope as they did with Man right. of Madon. Exactly. That's all. I'll say. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's not ex- it's, it's not exactly it's not the, the same. same. It's not exactly. It's not, the I, I'm same. not a po- I'm not opposed to it, but the fact they would do it like two times in a row, like this, not not exactly, but if you're it's the thinking, same. And I don't know anything idea. that you're saying. That this is just my own thoughts here. If it's meant to be an anthology series, and there's meant to be something that connects all of these, if it's what if they're saying together, what I think they are, that's not a connecting thread. That's just really lazy writing. Done oh, twice. okay. Um, how do I put this without spoiling it? it it's one of those things that is a legitimate subversion of tropes and what you ex- and expectations. Okay, I think problem, I already kind of know what it is. Well, the problem is that if you do this kind of thing twice, it it loses it's not, like, it loses it's all not, effect. It's not and even doing it anymore. once is like very lazy. Yeah. I wow. I think if they're gonna do it once it would have been better off in Little Hope and then had a different ending to Man of Madon. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Little Hope is done better than Man of Madon, but it's also not exactly the same twist. There, there's a little bit of a difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I was, uh, Corey, since since you're the... the I was going to say Corey? real quick, um, just for a quick news on the series, um, The Dark Pictures House of Ashes comes out this year. Oh yeah, it, and there's a funny little tidbit. Yeah, does it? Um, does it there, there's, uh, the, there's the next one at the end. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Um, sure, I hope. There, there's uh, there's there's cards you pick up within the game. They give you like visions, like what's gonna happen to characters later on in the, the game. game. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. There, there's one at the very end. We're just like, wait, who's this character? Who this wait, person? who? Yeah. Mm. So the trailer, the that's trailer me. for House of Ashes is out. Um, it's vastly different than either of the games we've played so far and I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for it i'm really hopeful for it no pun intended um <laughs> I, yeah i'm going i'm gonna go into house of ashes being like they're not gonna do it three times right i hope i not. really, I hope, really not. hope not is, is there I, yellow fart gas that's all i need if, to know but if they do if they do do it three <laughs> times yellow if fart gas t man if they do end up doing it three times then i i have a theory about that like basically sort of like kind of what you could subtitle this trilogy as they were subverted you know? expectations. Yeah. Hey, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm just watching the trailer for house of ash and you're right. This is totally fucking completely different. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> oh it, my was God. Me, it was giving me freaking, um, What's that movie where they freaking uh, go? The descent? the descent. The descent. It was giving me the descent. <laughs> oh vibes. no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> this is one hundred percent like uh, I'm just watching the trailer. Thankfully, the, the trailer has like subs on it. And it, this, this one, I'm kind. I, I'm legitimately interested in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, Corey, since uh, in. I'll play co-op with you. Since you're the one that it. played it with me, um, what, what are your closing thoughts on it? Sorry, say again. Oh, since just since you're the one that co-opted it with me, uh, what what are your closing thoughts on Little Hope? Overall? Um, my closing thoughts are: um, it was a fun ride, um, but overall, it is a story that has been told multiple times and a, a result that has been done uh, before. And um, it's you know, it, it's not necessarily completely original, but it still was a very fun fun time and it, it, it implemented co-op uh, capabilities very well. I think I'm basically going to echo that. I enjoyed every second of it, more so specifically because of the co-op. Um, I don't think I was as off put by the ending as you were, but more so that the same trope was used yeah. twice. I mean, I it's, will say that no, you guys I, I w- have me interested. Yeah. Like after I think everyone... Talk. Yeah. I think if you like horror movies, if you like horror games, you should absolutely and play it, like especially said, in co-op. I will say it again. I loved Until Dawn with all with all of my heart and soul. Like it is it is one of my favorite PlayStation exclusives ever. And I like seeing just the trailer for House of Ashes, I'm legitimately interested. Like that's like mm-hmm. my shit. Wait, isn't Until uh, Dawn on PC? I do want to say one I do want to say one more thing. Um so this isn't really a spoiler, but like when the game 
is like in the last scene essentially with the curator um and he's talking to the audience and everything is said and done um he says um i'll you know i'll see you again uh perhaps one more time and so i'm thinking that the creators are saying this is a trilogy yeah. like this I is didn't not this... Cut you off, sorry. no 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 I, that's fine uh, Blaine's correct. This is I, I. This is basically them saying this is going to be a trilogy. This is the end of the Dark Pictures anthology. We're going to move on to something else after this. Please so, be Until Dawn two, please, or something uh, like that. This something was essentially like, Until Dawn two, so that's why I'm like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, I mean, I really to the hope same not degree. because the way that Until Dawn ends, it can go in so many different directions. If I mean, if, I also <laughs> th- there's one well, part no, of that ending, it, the best ending, I don't like. <laughs> That I can't say because of spoilers. It's kind of racist, is all I'll say. I think uh, just to move or on. Insensitive. Right now, it's so not racist. It's insensitive. Stuff. What is? I mean, yeah, that's also a good point. <laughs> what is this? I. Uh, right, just to move on, yeah. especially since I'm sore from Corey getting two of my characters killed. I'm gonna hurt um, you. <laughs> um, I. Do you mind? I. Uh, I'll just. <laughs> 